Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about Windows 10 Super Light version made by Ghost Spectre. And I have no idea what to expect from it because I've never installed it before, but I just heard about it. Well, it's not brand new, but it's brand new to me. So we're going to see it together. And what I'm being told, it's great for older computers, especially that don't have a lot of resources. And uh, this one can run on a four gigabyte uh ram taking only around one gigabyte of that resource because uh go specter according to their site they have blocked off a lot of background apps and background processes that windows 10 usually devours and we're gonna see how that goes plugging it on our uh vmware workstation 16 pro well before we go ahead and do any of those downloads and installs i have to tell you downloading files from the internet on sources that are not exactly official is dangerous can cause harm to your machines and secondly installing a windows operating system on top of existing operating system you must 100 percent know what you're doing is you can lose all the data on that machine and with that out of the way i will go ahead and download one of these here i already have mediafire didn't work for some reason but i had to hit the link number two here and down i have already downloaded so i'm not gonna go ahead and re-download it here and uh, as you see that's the download file but i'm not gonna go ahead since i have it and now uh, let's go create a virtual machine and see how that's gonna work i am told a lot of good words about it a lot of good words so let me go with the one that says uh it's made supposedly for uh low-end pcs or low-end uh laptops and uh, that's what we're exactly going to do the 1909 version which when you go here you uh, on the download site if that's what you're looking for at least since my case ctrlf and you put 1909 and it will take you to the version that's 1909 2.3 gigabytes what is the difference uh don't ask me because i have no clue what the difference is but i'm just gonna go with it and i'm gonna click next here okay i like the <laughs> boot logo ghost mods I like that. Okay. Okay. Good start so far. Okay. The theme here is changed and I really like that. 2020 Ghost Spectre. English US. Yes. Click next. Uh, I'm going to go with Super Light since that's what they uh, advertise mostly. But let me tell you what uh, these four things here mean. Compact means it has a few of the processes. It might have, uh, in what I understand so far, it might have uh, a browser it might have a few drivers for a graphics card and it might have windows updates already active i will i will show you later why that's the case here and the compact plus def means the uh defender windows defender super light is supposed to have almost nothing no background no bloatware nothing just plain bare metal and the other one is bare metal plus windows defender uh i will go with super light since that's their pinnacle and uh we'll see where that goes we accept the license uh terms um uh, install it on the 60 virtual drive and wait for it to finish and here we go on the initial screen uh we have just to enter a password i like that so we're uh by default administrators and uh let's finalize our settings and get to the machine it will have some initial settings that will be automatic so don't freak out and now uh, let's see it it will uh install and plug in a few things it will ask us to restart and then we'll get right back as you see here runs a few commands here and there we click before we click yes since we're in a virtual machine i'm gonna go ahead and install uh vmware tools <laughs> okay so now we just need to restart it and get back to the windows <laughs> boot it up actually it's pretty quick because usually in virtual machines they're a little bit uh slower and uh it has started and it looks like let's see no bloatware so far at all as uh we're used with windows 10 
having a million things here let's go to uh apps what does it have pre-installed so far except for the regular stuff and here we go 7-zip cpu id virtual uh machine tools is mine and uh, uh visual cc c plus plus and those are normal default apps which are normal i don't see anything abnormal here here's the links to ghosts facebook and youtube which i will leave you a link in the description alongside with a site where to download this windows as well and what you want to do next which this is the main secret and the main feature i would say of this uh operating system uh, modified by specter or ghost specter is this ghost toolbox which i thought was the best thing ever and uh, when it opens up it will ask us to do some download and all that and uh i'll get back to you when once i finish the download okay and we're inside ghost toolbox why i think this is the best feature or the best options i've seen on this mod you'll see right now in this side you have installers which is my very favorite part you can install 7-zip iobit driver driver easy brave let because i want to use brave let's uh, hit number 18 here uh 18 enter and we would you like uh for a 64-bit system or 86 which is 32 i have 64 so i will press option number one and just like that it starts downloading and installing brave and here's brave browser so you can see it here it installed it within seconds and now you want to install let's say you want to install google chrome firefox microsoft edge i don't know why would you but you can and here you can do tweaks fixes cleaners you can stop windows updates until 2077 <laughs> Uh, page file hibernation ghost online activator to activate windows i i suggest you buy the official windows but this is just for demonstration purposes only you can clear the updates cache uh cache sorry uh action center cortana microsoft store and there is something here that i really wanted to show you that looked really nice uh you go to 24 which is ghost personalize now let me show you what that does option 24 and you can change the colors you can change everything you want right here as you see we have transparency taskbar which might take a little bit more resources on your uh, laptop or computer and you can disable that right here on these menus and as you see right here option 13 disable transparency taskbar let's hit 13 and boom it changed it and let's go to icons pack and windows themes let's start with with windows themes number 16 you can choose any of them so in here i'm gonna go with uh with the first one with a ghost light purple v1 and let's try how that looks i think it's the one we already have no it changed it as you see it became set default theme dark v light whatever that is and let's go to here as you see the uh bars are all purple and uh, let's say we want to put something we want to put the default windows dark option number nine right here and it goes to windows dark as you see right here and you can switch it to windows white as well as you see you have uh option number eight you click it and it turned it to the white folders as you see right here it turned to the normal windows that it comes let's go to icons pack i really like that one that's the best thing they've done here go icons pack and uh let's say you want to change these icons here at least the uh, default ones and let's go let me go to sweet paranoia for example number five wait for it to download and install the pack it passed and we're good it's installing them and you will see our icons come back different as if you're modifying on a phone as you see look at the recycle bin look at this pc let's open inside look at the local disk logo look at the network logo at it, it's just beautiful i really like it it's it's something that i wish windows came with from uh default and uh i think i think so far this is the best thing they've done and you can go to tweak 
if you're a gamer, they have tweaks for gaming. Uh, I don't know what it does exactly because I really don't want to go too far and make this video too uh, boring, but you can do anything you want in this one tweak for gaming for example 39 let's try it anyway that nah, we're here so disable mitigation disable startup delay high precision event timer uh disable or set to default login screens and background blur and windows 10 uh hardware acceleration gpu scheduling so it, it is beautiful i'm not gonna do any of them because i'm on a virtual machine so it would be kind of worthless to even try so i don't really need it uh you can go and install directly direct x which for games it's quite crucial and you hit here and uh, you can do offline installer or online installer i'm gonna do online installer hit one and as you see it brings us up right away to direct x installer and uh i'm gonna let it install quick and it's finished and uh besides that you can do options for windows 11 they have a windows 11 as well if in case i didn't uh tell you so you can do that and uh for this demonstration i'm not gonna go there because i don't really need it but you can do uh microsoft store and xbox console companion game bar microsoft connect clipboard xbox game pass for pc onedrive zoom music connect to your phone all the options that you need for windows and more you can just go straight up from here so you don't need to suffer for anything you can change administration administrator's name you can add new users change windows editions which that is really handy you can go from this pro that we are right now you can go pro education workstation country specific with different languages you can do single language you can do education enterprise and iot enterprise internet of things which is for the newer ones and uh, this is just just beautiful in, in my opinion this is beautiful let's see the resources it might be taken from us since we have only four gigs of ram and it's taken only four to three percent even less actually of our cpu 1.1 gigs of ram that's unheard of for windows 10 that's unheard of so this is this is just mind-blowing especially if you're a gamer or if you have a low-end pc or uh laptop but you still want windows 10 this one is the best and look at the cpu jumps to seven eight percent and drops back to two and one percent i never see that on my main machine yeah it says three gigahertz there but as you see right there i gave it only two virtual processors only two so it's it's basically a dual core right now which is back 2010 2011 in my opinion this is the best mod and as i said before as i said before do not replicate what i'm doing here thinking that you can do it with eyes closed you have to have your eyes open and know what you're doing when downloading files from the internet the internet can be scary can damage your machine and uh operating system files or any file can contain uh trojans and different viruses on the background that can be dormant or sometimes even months and years and awaken when they're needed so take precautions and don't hold me responsible if anything goes wrong go on specter's website and i will leave the links below for everything that i'm doing here and consult with it and with that said i think this is the best windows 10 mods ever made and if you guys want to see me install the same windows 10 from specter on a very old laptop that i have here and test it i'm more than happy to do so if you guys tell me so and i might do windows 11 from specter as well if you guys want me to just let me know in the comments and please like and subscribe if you don't mind and thank you for watching my video and we'll see you next time bye